Y'all ain't supposed to be up here. What? What? What is this? What is this? Did you do that? I swear. That's why we can't have nice things. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Abernathy Farms. I appreciate you clicking on the video, joining us today for our adventure. Um, we're going to get ready to make hay this week. Today's Tuesday. I'm hoping to mow Wednesday, Ted Thursday, bail Monday. So let's get started. One of the first things I gotta do is get this tether ready. Um, I bought it last year, I have not used it. Um, the drive shaft was locked up. I bought a new drive shaft and I've got a bunch of new tines to put on. I went and bought one the other day, put it on just to make sure it was gonna fit. I've got two of the original ones which are not quite the same. But you see some of them are real jacked up. So I got four, five, six. Um, they've got blue Loctite on them. So I'm having to heat them up, get them off. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change these and uh, see what she does. <laughs> location here at the shop um the battery was dead on the tractor because i let it run out of gas and left the key on so i had to jump it off i got the battery charger on it now um i've got four of those put on i've got one more left and the ones that are missing i'm missing the hardware so i can't really put one there without doing a bunch of stuff so i'm gonna take this one off and move this hardware to there and put that last uh long one on the ones i got are not direct replacements but they're just gonna they're just gonna have to work that's all we got all right guys it's the next day we have traded the 600 with the tether for the 4000 with the mower now i rode to the backfield yesterday to look for black locusts and try to cut out as many as i can we found a couple and uh cut them out but that backfield is so thick so thick i think it's gonna make like 200 bales We'll see if my prediction is correct, but I wasn't going to sharpen the mower blade on this, but because it's so thick, I didn't mow much with it in the spring. I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to sharpen it. Now, when we first got this mower, we were having problems with it breaking the pitman arm a lot. And what was happening was this latch was coming loose. So I started tying it with wire and then later I put a hose clamp on it to uh, keep it from coming loose and we have not had a problem with it since we'll just knock on that old wood to uh, make sure give her all the luck we need um i'm hoping to buy another mower before we cut hay again i've been saying that it has not happened but uh we're going to use this one for now because this is what we got and also i'm going to put another larger mold board whatever you want to call it on here just because this stuff is so freaking thick and I want to have a longer sweep maybe something with a little bit more angle on the end I'll have to see what I got to uh, make that happen so let's get started all right we got our clamp off we got our latch pulled forward you got to pry it you have to pry it forward it's got a lot of spring tension on it and we're gonna pop this off the melon baller like that and then we're going to take and we're going to tie our pitman arm up and out. And then we got to loosen all these bolts as well as these because we want to blow it out. We want to lube it up and stuff anyway. And then we'll attach a piece of rope or something to the ball and we'll pull it out that way. Okay, so I took a punch and a hammer and I drove the bar back as far as I could. That exposes this hole here. I put a piece of twine through it, lubed everything up. And uh, now we're going to try to pull it out. Oh, fail. Fail number one. That worked out great. I swear I've done this before. Here's my problem. This one's falling down and wedged in there. 
But now, I think we'll be able to pull it. Jeez Louise. Same problem, same spot. There we go, let me tighten these up a little bit. Got them a little too loose. There we go, that's a little better. All right, I sharpened them. I just hit them with the grinder. It's over there. Just a little bit. Flatten off the bottom side and I hit the uh, beveled side, the angled side a little bit. So now I'm going and cleaning off all this dirt and this dirt's from uh, ant hills when you're mowing. So I got a drill and a wire brush and we're just going to go through and clean that up and then clean the track up and then we'll be ready to reinstall and grease it up, hit the field. Alright, we got the blade back installed. So we gotta tighten up our keepers here. But we gotta put the uh, holder down on the ball. And what I've done is I've greased it up with axle grease. Makes it a little bit easier, lubes it. But it is a uh, pain in the ass. Not only to spread them and put it down, and spread the cups and put it down on the ball, but also to lock this in place. And uh, I remember the last time I did this, that thing snapped gave me a blood blister the size of a dime it hurt for like two weeks so we're gonna try to avoid that today all right we got everything greased up everything back together everything tightened up i put these uh rods which actually are off the umbrella that i ordered and put on the david brown they're supposed to be braces but i did not use them and PTO's hooked up tractor's gassed up check the oil let's see what we can do Alright, the test field is cut. It cut like a champ. And this stuff is thick. Thick sweep work good. It was so thick, it gets stuck on the end of the uh, arm and almost wouldn't pick it up. Thick. It's a little bit thinner here. This is out towards the center. thick stuff it's gonna make a lot of hay just in this field alone well I stopped to check everything and I guess I didn't tighten the bolt bolt fell out and rock guard fell off somewhere out there in the field I've got another rock guard and I've got a bolt that'll work I'm about to see it in there and measure it and trim it with the turn it off with the grinder and check the rest of them make sure they're tight and head out all right Got a new rock guard installed. I tightened, retightened everything, hit it with the impactor. Let's head to the back. I'm gonna start with the chickadee out. All right, ladies, have fun.
that's the last of it. Lower did good. Cracker did good. Got to uh, go drop the mill off and uh, tomorrow we'll tet it. Well, we're waiting for the sun to burn off the dew a little bit before we ted. But I've got to replace this T post because some idiot, this guy, hit it with the tractor while they were bush hogging. So, uh, you know, try to get close. You want to be close. Maybe a little too close. So I got a new one, some more insulators. We're going to replace it because I'm putting the cows back out here. And, uh, yeah, so let's do that. And there we go. Evidence. We've got to remove the evidence. People might get the idea that I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I got this field done. It was the last one I did. Uh, I did uh, mowed yesterday, but it, it gets full sun pretty quick. It's pretty dry. It does all right. This thing is violent. Um, I've got to get those holes, those mining holes, better before next time. But I'm gonna put it in its carry position, and we're gonna head all the way to the back, do the back, and do the next field back up, and then we're gonna hit this field right here last right here next to the pine trees. It gets the sun last, but you've seen enough. Tether works. Um, we're going to end that here. Today is Thursday. Plan is to bail Monday. I got to work all weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so I'm trying to take time off work. And so the next video should be us bailing and raking. Raking and bailing. We'll, we'll rake it first and then we'll bail it. And so if you guys enjoyed this video and you've stayed to the end, I really, really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you for the next one. See ya. And by the way, this is the road position. Take the pin out, swing it over, and put the pin back in. It centers it up behind the tractor. When you're ready to tear, you pull that pin out, swing it this way, and it swings it out. Kind of offset the center, ends up being right at the center of the left rear tire.